Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner of Poised and Prepped and I sell pre-loved clothing for men, women, and children. And I first wanna start off by saying Happy New Year. I cannot believe that we are already in 2023. So actually today is a really special day for me. Today is January 2nd and it is the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. So I uploaded my very first YouTube video on this exact day a year ago. And I really had no idea like what I was doing. Um, I just kind of decided, you know, hey, I think I'll start a YouTube channel. So my very first video, I actually went to the Goodwill bins for the very first time. Time. And so I kind of just like videotaped that and threw that up and here we are now a year later. So very excited for 2023. I feel like 2022 in reselling, you know, this time last year as I was like making plans and goals and like how I wanted things in my business to go, I kind of thought I had it all figured out. And then we had so many surprises I felt like this year in reselling. We had the algorithm change that ended up happening on Poshmark back, I think in like March, um, which really kind of like threw everybody into tailspin a little bit. And then live selling really became a big thing this year. So there's been a lot of pivots, but I definitely feel like as I enter into 2023, I have, you know, I hope, I hope at least a kind of clearer picture of how things are going to be so that I can make, you know, progress and growth in my business. So one of the things I really want to try to do more of this year is probably live sales. You know, I've definitely tried that out on multiple platforms and I think that live sales are probably here to stay, it looks like. So one of the things I really want to try to do this year is kind of figure out a way to like incorporate that into my business model and not just kind of do like random shows, but maybe have like a set live sales schedule that I do each week. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm actually about to leave. I'm gonna go do some sourcing and hopefully find some really good items. You know, this week specifically, I feel like is such a great week to go thrifting because after Christmas, after the holidays, you know, that is like when people are going through their homes, they're decluttering, you know, they've gotten all this new stuff for Christmas and they're like purging. So you can find some really great items at the thrift store, especially this time of year. So let's go see what I can find. No sleep when things run dry, I'm empty. Seven months. I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me. Here I am alone. How to move on without you? You, you. Without you, you, you. I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Cause I just wanted you. And if I could, I'd leave the city too. I don't blame you. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me.
much for clicking on this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you receive a notification every time I upload a brand new video. Standing underneath the lights. All right, so I am back home. I have all of my items ready to show you all what I picked up. And honestly, the thrift was amazing today. I think I have like 60 plus items to show you all. So I went to the first Goodwill and I had an amazing haul and I just kept going. I went to like two more Goodwills today because it was just there. It was like, I just kept finding stuff. And so I tried to take full advantage of that while I had the time to go sourcing. So, so excited to show you all what I picked up. Here is the first item. This is a Ann Taylor tweed black blazer. It is so pretty. Here's the tag. This one's a size six and I paid $5.49 for this one. I love picking up these Ann Taylor tweed blazers. They usually do very well for me. And I usually list these somewhere around the $50 mark. All right, next up, I picked up this Eileen Fisher like knit top. Really pretty, it's kind of like a tan color. Here is the tag, Eileen Fisher. This one's a size extra small. And where is the tag on this one? Yeah, I paid $4.99 for this one. Um, obviously, Eileen Fisher is a bread and butter brand for me. I love picking up this brand. And usually, I almost always pick it up. I mean, I still definitely like always run comps on it, but usually I find that they're typically there. So this one is a beautiful piece. I think this one's gonna perform really well. I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the $40 mark. All right, next up, I have this one shoulder black bodysuit really cute this one's by the brand good american and this one's a size two and i love finding good american i don't really find it that often so it's very exciting when i do but i paid 4.99 for this bodysuit and i've sold their jeans before but i've not really sold any other categories by them so i'm excited to see how this one performs i'm probably going to list this one somewhere around like 30 dollars so i'm excited to see how this one does all right, so this was my very first time finding this brand. This is a beautiful dress by the brand Reese. Here is the tag. It looks like this. This one is a size four, and this is an amazing brand. I have wanted to find this brand for so long, and it happened, and I was so happy. So beautiful dress. I paid $6.49 for this one and I did run comps and it looked like this dress was selling, I believe if I remember correctly, like around like the $65 mark, which is amazing. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. All right. The next dress that I found, how beautiful is this? I could not believe it. I was so excited. This is Free People. It is a size extra small. This beautiful puff sleeve, full length maxi dress. It is gorgeous. It has like the open back and the like button down here. Beautiful. And so I paid $6.49 for this one. I did run comps on this one. And I think like new with tags, this one was still selling for like $98. And I believe you know, pre-loved, this one was still selling for like 65 to 75. So very excited to find this one. Okay, this was actually a new to me brand. This is a beautiful shirt, white puff sleeved. The material is like very thick. Like I knew as soon as I touched it that it was an expensive high quality piece. So this one is by the brand, I hope I'm saying this correctly, Kara Toms. And here is what the tag looks like, Kara Toms. And this one's a size small. And again, I wasn't familiar with this brand, so I did run comps on it and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, comps on these tops and this brand were awesome. I think that this top was selling for around like 45 to $50 still. And I paid 
$4.99 for this one. And this one is in perfect condition. It is gorgeous. So that is a new to me brand. All right, this one was just a little like white button down top by Loft. It was new with tags, which is the main reason I wanted to grab it. And it's a size medium petite. I paid $4.99 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around like 25. This was another Eileen Fisher top, just like a really pretty coral kind of like knit short sleeve top. This one is a size small and I paid $4.99 for this one. And again, Eileen Fisher, I definitely wanted to pick this one up. It's in perfect condition, really, really pretty. I'll probably list this one somewhere around like 30 to 35. Okay, this was a J. Crew blazer, navy. This one is the park. And there is the tag. You can see where it says park right there. And this one was a size 16, which an amazing size. I paid $5.49 for this one. And these park blazers by J. Crew, they do really well. Um, this one I believe was selling for around like the $40 to $50 mark. So especially this one being a larger size, a size 16, um, I expect this one to perform pretty well. This was a cashmere top that I picked up. This one was new with tags by Neiman Marcus. And it's just like this like cream cashmere tank. I believe that this one, if I remember correctly, yes, this one's 100% cashmere. So that's really the main reason I picked up this piece. I paid $4.99 for this one and I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around probably $40. Okay, this was very exciting. This is a short sleeve navy dress. It doesn't really look like that much, but this one is by the brand Universal Standard. There is what it looks like. And this one just happened to be new with tags. I could not believe it. This brand performs amazing. If you are not familiar with this brand, it's definitely one you wanna be on the lookout for. Um, the resale value on this one, especially being new with tags, is like 65 to $70. So very nice pickup. I paid $5.49 for this one. And again, I'm probably gonna list this one 65 to $70. All right, this one is another free people dress. Isn't this one so fun? I love like, just like all the different patterns, the stripes, the floral. This one does have pockets, which is always amazing. And this one's a size two by free people. And I paid $6.49 for this one. Really, really cute. I'm gonna list this one probably around $45. All right, this is another Eileen Fisher piece. This one's beautiful. This one's like a midi length dress and it's a size small. There is the tag and I paid $6.49 for this one. And this one's actually a silk dress and feels amazing. It's in perfect condition. Again, I was so excited to find this one and I'm probably gonna list this one closer to like $70. It is beautiful. This dress is a maxi length dress, really pretty. This one's by the brand Elijah J. And this one's a size six. And I paid $6.49 for this one. I love picking up Elijah J, especially if I can find it in their maxi length dresses. I definitely feel like that is the category that performs the best for me in this brand. So I was so excited to find this one, especially in a good size. So I will probably list this one somewhere around like $45. And these usually get a lot of attention. So this one's a really pretty one. I was happy to find that. This is just a little leopard print blouse I picked up. This one's by J. Crew. It's a size medium. And I paid $4.99 for this one. I just really loved like the details on this, like this ruffle collar. And it was just more of like a loose fit. I thought this would be really cute, like tucked in with some like black dress pants. So I went ahead and grabbed 
have this one. Um, I'll probably list this one somewhere around the $25 mark, but it was a great size and a really cute style, so I picked this one up. Okay, this I thought was really pretty. This is actually a bodysuit. Let me see if there's a better way that I can show you all this one. This one is like a champagne color. Beautiful, this is like knit. This one is by Abercrombie and Fitch. There is the tag, it's a size small. And I did run comps on this. And comps on this, even being not new with tags, were still selling between $30 and $40. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. I paid $4.99 for this. Um, you know, some of Abercrombie and Fitch's other bodysuits didn't have as high of comps, you know, like most were around like the $20, $25 mark. But this one um, specifically looked like it had really great comps. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. This next one is like a tunic style top, really fun. This one's by the brand Florette. There is what the tag looks like. It's a size medium. This is a brand that is sold at Anthropology, and I actually, I've actually sold this brand before. That's why I was familiar with it. Um, and I did run comps on this one, and the comps on this one was like 25 to 30. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. I paid $4.99 for it, and I just thought it was really unique, and it was a great size, it was in great condition. Just a really fun, unique piece. All right, this top is by the brand Universal Standard. It's a size extra small, really great condition. I paid $4.99 for this one, and I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the $30 mark. This is another top that I picked up. This one is by Anthropology. Let me go ahead and take this like dry clean tag so that you can see there is what it looks like. And this one is a size small. And I love this top. It's really pretty. It's got like the button details here in the front, kind of like longer in the back. So it's definitely more of like a tunicky, oversized top. And it feels amazing. I paid $4.99 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the $30 mark. All right, this one is beautiful. It is a maxi length dress. The pattern on this is gorgeous. This one's free people. And it is a size extra large. There is the tag. I was so excited to find this. Um, number one, it's beautiful, but in a size extra large, I very rarely find free people in the larger sizes. So. I was so pumped. I paid $6.49 for this one and comps on this one looked amazing. So I'm probably gonna be able to list this one close to like $60. And I was just so happy to find this one. All right, this next dress is by the brand Mod Cloth, and this one's super cute. It has like scissors on it. And this one was a size extra large it's new with tags which is amazing and mod cloth is a brand that is sold at like anthropology and it usually does pretty well i usually try um to always run comps if i come across it so there is some range depending on the piece like i've definitely ran comps on items that were not reselling for much at all and then it just really depends on a lot of factors the print the size things like that but this one looks really good. I think I'm gonna list this one somewhere around $40. It's really cute. All right, this next dress is so pretty. I absolutely love this dress. This one's by the brand And Mercy, and it's a size medium. Really pretty, striped, smocks, has the tie shoulders, maxi length. So everything is just like on trend. I think this is so pretty. I paid $6.49 for this one, and comps on this one looked really good, like $40 to $45. I've actually sold some And Mercy dresses before, and I love this brand. It just feels amazing, very nice quality. So I was super excited to find this. I think this is gonna perform really well. All right, this next dress is so pretty. This one is by the brand 
NBD. There is the tag, and this one's a size eight. This brand is sold at places like Revolve, and it performs really well on the secondhand market. So it's definitely a brand that I'm always on the lookout for. Um, I think I've only found this brand like one other time. So I get very excited when I find this one. I paid $6.49 for this one, and I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around $50 to $60. All right, this next dress is by the brand Vicky. There is the tag. This one's a size extra small, and this is a great brand to be on the lookout for. I do find that uh, Vicky dresses can perform really well on the secondhand market. I will definitely say it's a brand that if I see it, I always stop and run comps on it, and sometimes, I feel like most of the time I end up picking it up, but there have been a few times where I've left it behind because that particular piece just was, I don't know, just not performing that well. But this one looks really good. The stock photos of this were really cute. So I paid $6.49 for this one, and I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around like $35. This next dress is by Banana Republic. This one is a size small, and this one's new with tags, and it says it retails for $89.99. So really cute dress, really bright and fun. I paid $6.49 for this one. And honestly, these Banana Republic dresses, if I can find them, you know, in more of like trendy pieces, new with tags, they do really well on the secondhand market. So I usually, if they're new with tags and more of like a newer style, I almost always pick them up. I mean, definitely run comps, but for me personally, um, they do pretty well. So I was excited to find this one. All right, this is a navy midi length dress by Lulu's, and this one was new with tags. There is the tag. Um, I paid $6.49 for this one. Um, and these Lulu dresses, again, if I find them new with tags, I usually just go ahead and pick them up. Um, it really depends on the dress. I feel like some of them, I only get around like 25 to 30 now. And then for like the longer ones, like midi and longer, I find I can get maybe closer to around like 35 to 40. So this one is midi length. This one was a size medium and new with tags. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. I'm probably gonna list this one around the 35 to $40 mark. Okay, this is such a pretty dress. I'm actually thinking about keeping this one. I love this dress. I love the color. This one's by the brand Mango. There is the tag. This one is a size four and it's puff sleeve, smock. It is midi length. This one I paid $6.49 for. And some of these Mango dresses, especially if they are like a blogger favorite, can perform really well. So I was very excited to find this one. It's very on trend, midi, smock, puff sleeves, all those, you know, keywords. So I am probably gonna list this one probably around 40 to $45. And I was really excited to find this one. Again, I may end up just keeping this one because this one is so cute. All right, this next one is also another midi length dress. This one's by the brand Bowden. There is the tag, and this one's a size six petite. I love picking up Bowden, especially in their dresses category. I paid $6.49 for this one. I did run comps, and it looked like this one was selling for around like $40 to $45. So very nice find. All right, this is a Free People 100% linen romper. This one is a size medium. There is the tag. I It doesn't have a price on it, but I believe they charge me the same as dresses for this one. This one just has the old Goodwill tag on it for some reason. But I think I paid $6.49 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere probably around like 35 but it was 100% linen. I loved the green color and it was a larger size. It was a size medium. So I definitely wanted to grab this one. Okay, this next one is a dress. This one is by 
Gretchen Scott, and it's a size large. I paid $6.49 for this one, and these Gretchen Scott dresses, I love picking them up. A lot of people love these because these dresses do not wrinkle, so a lot of people that travel, they really love this brand because it's a brand they can have in their suitcase when they're traveling and they can get it out and it's like wrinkle free material. So again, this one was a size large. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick this one up. I'm probably going to list this one probably around like the 40 to $45 mark. This one is another Lulu's dress. This one's also a midi length style. This one's really, really pretty. And this one was also new with tags and it was a size small. Again, I like to pick up the Lulu's dresses, especially if I can find them in midi length, new with tags. So I paid $6.49 for this one and I'm probably gonna list this one again somewhere around the $40 mark. Next up is another dress, midi length dress. This one's by J. Crew. It is a size six, really pretty, like navy sunflower print. And I paid $6.49 for this one. And I don't even think I ran comps on this one because I was just like, I'm definitely gonna get it. But I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around like the $30 to $35 mark. Okay. This next one is another maxi length dress by the brand Vicky. This one's a size small. And I did run comps on this one and the stock photos of this were so pretty, like way prettier than I was even expecting it just by looking at it. So I did pick this one up. I paid $6.49 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the $40 mark. That is what it was selling for on Poshmark. So very happy to find this one and i don't even think that this one has been worn it still has like the little like spare button and everything attached to it so i don't think that it's even been worn before so i was happy to find this one okay this is another free people dress that i picked up today and i just love the color of this one and style really really pretty this one was a size medium there is the tag and I paid $4.99 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the 40 to $45 mark. Okay. This one is a Madewell dress, red. Here is the tag. This one is a size six. I paid $6.49 for this one. Really pretty, probably gonna list this one around $35. All right, this next piece is a skirt, and this one is by the brand Maeve for Anthropology. This one's a size four, and it's so pretty in person. It's like linen, the button down, really, really pretty. I paid $4.99 for this one, and I usually don't pick up very many skirts, but if I find these Anthropology ones, I mean, I, I still like to run comps, but I almost always pick them up just because they're such high quality and they're so pretty. I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around $35. This is a maxi length dress. This one is by the brand J Crew, and this is actually their like beachwear tagline. You can kind of see there, it says J Crew Beachwear, and this one was a size small. And I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, it's maxi length. It's in perfect condition. It is such a pretty dress. I love this print. So I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around $45 to $50. This next dress is really, really pretty. This one is midi length. This one's by the brand Saltwater Luxe. There is the tag, it's a size medium. And I honestly do not find this brand very often. I have picked it up one other time in a dress and comps always look pretty good on this brand. So I don't find it very often, but I definitely wanted to pick this one up since it was a midi length and a size medium, just a really pretty style. So this one I paid $6.49 for, and I'm probably gonna list this one for about 
$40. All right, this is just a little polo Ralph Lauren girls dress. This one's a size 3T and I paid $2.99 for this one. I mean, this was just too cute. I had to pick this up. I loved the plaid and the pink. So these little polo dresses, honestly, they, they can do pretty well. I'm probably gonna list this one for like $25. And you know, with the kids clothes, they only charge $2.99. So you can still make some pretty good profit margins on some of this kids wear. So I think this is adorable. I was really excited to find this. Okay, next up is another free people dress that I found. So much free people, I could not believe it. Okay, this one is a size 10. Um, there is the tag, and again, a larger size, which usually for me, I don't really have as much luck in finding the larger sizes in free people dresses. So I was very happy to find this one, and I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the $40 mark. This next item is a top by Bowden, and this one is a size medium. I paid $4.99 for this one. This one is so incredibly soft. Um, and again, Bowden is just a brand that I, I love picking up Bowden. It, it's very high quality and it usually does pretty well. This one was in excellent condition. So I'll probably only list this one for probably like 25, but I still wanted to pick it up. I love Bowdoin. All right, this one is a midi length puff sleeved dress. It's like floral print. This one's by the brand H&M and it is a size medium. I paid $6.49 for this one. And some of these H&M dresses, especially if they're like blogger favorites, um, can perform really well on the pre-loved market. So this one, it just had all the right features, the puff sleeves, the midi length, it was just very on trend. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up. I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around like $35 to $40, but it's really, really cute. I also picked up this little romper for little girls. This one is by the brand H&M, uh, collaboration with Angela McKay. There is what the tag looks like. And these were a size 6X. I paid $2.99 for these. And I probably only will list these for like 20, but I just thought these were really cute and I just decided to go ahead and pick them up. All right, this was a pair of black Spanx that I picked up. These are a size medium and I paid $5.49 for these. These are in excellent condition. Like they don't even look like they've been worn. They look perfect. So I was so excited to find these. I did run comps on these and these look like they were selling for like $50 to $60 still. So always a really great day when you find Spanx and these being a size medium, which is a little bit of a larger size, hopefully these perform well. Okay, these were a pair of like capri style pants from the brand Zaya Active. There is the tag. These are a size six to eight. I paid $4.99 for these. I love picking up this brand. It does really well on the secondhand market. These were in excellent condition. So I'm probably gonna list these, I don't know, somewhere around like the $25 to $30 mark. All right, so this was definitely my favorite find of the day. I could not believe it when I saw these. These are a pair of like wide leg raw hem jeans. These are by the brand Cezanne. There is the tag and these are a size 36. I paid $7.99 for these and I ran comps on these and these were selling for over $100 in this style. I couldn't believe it. I have only found this brand one other time. I found it in a dress and that dress sold for over $200. So I was floored when I saw these, very, very excited. I expect these to do really well, so definitely my favorite find today. All right, these are a pair of Pilcro in the letterpress black jeans. Here is what the tag looks like. These were a size 27, 
And I am probably gonna list these, I don't know, probably around like $35 mark. Pilcrow and the Letterpress is a brand that they sell at like Anthropology. Um, and it usually does pretty well, but these are skinny style, which I am finding aren't doing as well, but I still wanted to go ahead and pick these up and give these a try. But because they're skinny, I'm probably just gonna list them, I don't know, like 35 and see what happens. All right, these were a pair of wide leg rockin jeans by Zara. There is the tag and these are a size four. I paid $7.99 for these. And mainly I wanted to pick these up again based on style. They are wide leg, raw hemmed, high waist as well. So everything about these was like really on trend. And I do feel like in terms of like jeans and pants and things like that, that like buyers are um, looking for more straight and wide leg styles. That just seems to be getting more attention and selling quicker. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick these up. I'm probably gonna list them, I don't know, maybe around like 35 to 40. Okay, these are another pair of jeans. These are definitely like more of like a straight leg style. These are Levi's and these are the rib cage straight. They're a size 25. And these also are the premium denim by Levi's which I usually try to look out for. I paid $7.99 for these, and these do really well on the secondhand market. I feel like when it comes to Levi's, I usually look for the ribcage straight or the wedgie style jeans by Levi's. So I'm probably gonna list these somewhere around like 50, maybe 50 to $60. These are a pair of white distressed jeans. These were new with tags for J. Crew, and these are the slouchy boyfriend jeans. Um, these are a size 26 and I paid $7.99 for these. I'm probably gonna list these probably around $40. So that was a nice little find. All right, <laughs> moving on. I know this is a lot of stuff. Okay, so I picked up these Espadrille shoes. These were by J. Crew, and there's what it looks like inside. I paid $9.99 for these, but these are brand new. These have never been worn. Perfect condition. These are a size seven and a half, which is a great size, great style. So I definitely wanted to grab these. I'm probably gonna list these somewhere around $40. All right, so I picked up two Patagonia pullovers today. This one is a size medium and I paid up on these. I paid $19.99 for this one. And then this gray one, is the same style but this one is a size small there is the tag on that one and I also paid $19.99 for this one as well so at first when I saw these I was like oh my gosh I don't know I, I'm not gonna pay $20 a piece for them but I did run comps and in this style these were still selling between like 60 and $80 so once I saw that, I was like, okay, I just need to go ahead and pay up for them. I mean, I don't find Patagonia all that often, so I definitely wanted to take advantage um, of getting these. And again, they're in excellent condition, so I got both of those. This is a little, like, Sherpa vest that I picked up. This one was Crew Cuts. It's a size 2. I paid $2.99 for this one. It is absolutely adorable. It is in perfect condition. I would say excellent condition and it is just absolutely darling. So I picked this up for $2.99. I'm probably going to list it for like 20 to 25. I picked up this J Crew denim blue jean jacket. This one was a size medium and I actually tried this on for myself. I paid $4.99 for this one. I may keep it, I'm not 100% sure. I'm still trying to decide, but I just loved like the wash of this and it's really, really nice. It's like very high quality, like heavy filling. So 
Um, I've actually sold quite a few blue jean jackets by J. Crew, and I usually list these around like $35 to $40. This is a navy schoolboy blazer by J. Crew. This one was a size six petite and it was new with tags and like the buttons everywhere have the paper still on them. Perfect condition. I paid $4.99 for this one. I love picking up these J. Crew blazers, especially new with tags. So I'm probably gonna list this one for like $50. This is a men's red flannel shirt and this one is by the brand Jacques and it's a size large. I paid $4.99 for this one. This is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Um, these probably will sell around like, I don't know, $25 to $30. So definitely wanted to go ahead and pick that one up. This was a pair of Zaya athletic pants. I loved the color of these. And these were a size extra, extra, extra large which is amazing. I love picking up Zaya. These I paid $5.49 for, and I'm probably gonna list these somewhere probably around like $30. All right, so this was a skirt that I picked up, and I don't really know. I just thought this was a really unique and fun piece. This one's vintage. This one is Pendleton and it's a size 10. So I do know that this brand can perform really well on the pre-loved market, depending on the item, but I just thought this one was really cool. The features on it, the print, and it is kind of like a wrap style and midi length. So I paid $4.99 for this one. I did try to run comps on this one and I could not find it. So. I'm gonna have to do maybe a little bit more research on this before I list it, but I definitely wanted to go ahead and give it a try. I thought it was really unique. These were a pair of Good American Rockham jeans. There is the tag. These were a size 30 and I paid $7.99 for these. Good American is a great jeans brand, so these being a size 32, I, I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick these up. Probably gonna list these for around like 45 to $50. These are a pair of wide leg linen pants. These are by Athleta and these are a size six tall. I paid $5.49 for these. And these Athleta linen pants especially, um, do really well. I had another pair of these. I believe they were like white linen and the, the comps on these look amazing. I'm probably gonna list these for probably around like 40 to $45. Um, again, linen, wide leg, very, very in style on trend right now. So happy to find those. These were a pair of like capris. These are by Athleta, they're a size medium. There's the little athleta symbol on the back. These were in great condition. Um, I paid $4.99 for these. And again, we're at the beginning of the new year. A lot of people are shopping for active wear right now. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I'm probably gonna list these for like 25 to 30. These are a pair of Madewell Distressed Jeans. There is the tag, and these are the Perfect Vintage Jean. These are a size 27. I paid $7.99 for these. I love picking up Madewell jeans. I'm gonna list these for probably around $45 to $50. All right, these were another pair of Zaya Active Pants. These were a size 12. And again, Zaya Active performs really well, especially it's this time of year. So I'm probably gonna list these again, probably around like 35 to 40. These were another pair of Athleta pants. These are like wide leg, high waist style. They have like the actual like full on pockets in the back. And these were a size medium. I paid $4.99 for these. And these like high-waisted wide leg ones 
do amazing. So I'm probably gonna list these around, I don't know, like 40 to $45. These are a pair of jeans I picked up by the brand, I wanna say that's Aret. Um, I know that these are like a really popular brand to resell. I paid $7.99 for these. Here is the back. They have like all the stars and embroidery. They really remind me of like the Miss Me jeans. So this is actually the first time I have picked these up to try and resell them. These are a size 29 long, but I know that these perform really well, or at least I have heard that they do. So. These are in great condition, so I decided to go ahead and pick these up and just give them a try for myself and see what happens. So I'm probably gonna list these around like 35 to 40. I also picked up these Hunter boots today, which were amazing. These are actually kids, but I just thought the pattern was really fun. They were in amazing condition. So I did pay up a little bit for these. I paid $19.99. But I'm gonna hopefully try and list these for around like 45 to 50. So I was really excited to find these. I also picked up these boots today and these are Sorel. There is the little symbol there. These are actually, these are men's size eight and I paid $9.99 for these but these are in amazing condition. So, I mean, they look almost brand new to me. So I was very excited to find these. I love picking up Sorel boots if I can find them. So I'm probably gonna list these around like $65. I also grabbed these New Balance tennis shoes. These are really cute, just like gray and pink, but these were in really good condition. And usually when I find New Balance, um, I don't know, I just feel like they're usually not in this good of shape. So I decided to go ahead and give these a try. I did pay $7.99 for these. And when I was running comps on these, it, there was really a massive range. Like I saw some of these that were selling for like $20 and then I saw some that were selling for like 35 to 40. So I don't really know what will happen with these, but they were in really great condition. So I just decided to give them a try. And these are size seven and a half for women. So I just thought the pink and gray were really fun. So we'll see what happens with those. I also picked up this little dress and funny enough, so I was, you know, in the thrift store and I saw this and I saw that it said Liberty of London, which is an amazing brand. It performs really well on the resale market and they just have really fun, like prints like this one, really pretty. And then I was just so excited. I didn't even run comps on it because I was like, well, I know I'm going to get it. I love Liberty of London. It's going to do well. And then I got home and realized this one says Liberty of London for Target and I was like well you know that's okay like maybe it's still doing well it's not this is selling for like 10 or 15 dollars so I was pretty bummed about that I did pay six of 49 for this one but you know hey that is why it is so important to run your comps at the store um, but it's still a really cute little dress I'll probably just go ahead and list it anyways it is a size large which is a really good size. So I just really loved the print on this. All right, so I also have a few home decor pieces. So first up, I found this, which is like a faux orchid plant. I could not believe it. I just was so excited when I found this. I paid $4.99 for this and these faux orchids like this are really expensive. Like I know places like Pottery Barn have these and they're like $300. So when I saw this one, I grabbed this and put this in my cart so fast. So that was one of my home decor finds today. And then I also came across this tablecloth and here is the print on it. Really, really pretty like blue and yellow. And this one is actually, let me find the tag here so I can show you. Uh, this one's by the brand April Cornell. And there is what the tag looks like. 
I paid, I think it was like $2.99 for this one. I'm almost positive. Yeah, no, actually $2.29. There is what I paid for it. And these April Cornell uh, tablecloths can do really, really well on eBay. So this one was in excellent condition, no stains. I looked it all over and it looks like on eBay that these are selling for like 35 to $40. So I went ahead and grabbed this to give this a try. I also picked up these little placemats. These were like a set of four and these just have like London, the scene of London on them. I just thought these were really cool and fun. I paid $1.99 for all four of them and I'm probably just gonna sell them as a set. But I just thought the print was great on those. I also picked up this sleeping bag. Okay, are y'all ready for this? Here we go. This white fluffy dog, isn't this the cutest? It's pink gingham sleeping bag. There's the little paws at the bottom. This one is by Pottery Barn Kids. And I love picking up Pottery Barn if I can find it. And I did run comps on this one. So when I looked this one up on Poshmark, I really couldn't find that much. There was only like one other one that was even like sold on there. So I ended up getting on eBay. And on eBay, I found a little bit more information and it looked like these were selling for around like 50 to $70. And this one's in great condition. So I paid $19.99 for this. And I'm gonna list this on eBay probably for around, I don't know, like 60 to 65, but it's so adorable. I just could not leave this behind. So definitely wanted to grab that. All right, so that is everything I picked up today. I found so many good items. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you again soon. Bye everybody. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down into water when they hit